Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can do archiving for uh, iDocs, okay, because you'll be having iDocs and it's always important to do some archiving so that, you know, to get rid of the space it's getting stored because in iDoc you have a lot of data. So here you can see you can do archiving in this from this report, okay, I'll give the description of this uh, report in the video. And from here, you can see the test mode and all those things you can do. So I'll just say created, suppose that created on. So I'll just put a date. So I'll just put, suppose, 2019. And I'm running in test mode. So I'll just execute. And here, if you see, I'm executing. And once we do it, and you know, you have different links, different options that you can do, and it's this packet size is thousand. So once you execute, I think we have a lot of iDocs in this system. Uh, so when it's executing, it will show once it's executed. Uh, but the this will, and this is I'm running in test mode, and this is an S4 HANA system. I think the same stuff you can do for in ECC system. So it's very useful. And here you can see these are the records, how many records are there and all those things. These are very useful. And you, especially in S4 HANA system, you want to do this because you are storing the, <clears throat> the, the data in RAM memory, which is very costly. And you don't want to overwhelm with some data that you are not so important which you don't need okay so that's why it's important so this is the way to do archiving of items so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and have happy sap learning and have